Dear students and working accountants, welcome to my Expert Tally Prime YouTube channel. My name is Bob Rafa, I am Bob. Today, we are going to learn, then we are going to learn data security. That is, we completed already all the data security. So we are created, creating many companies in our Delhi. We have many companies. In these companies, we made the entries. That means we enter the data. How to provide security for the data? That means some others, they can open the company, they can make some alterations or deletions. Whatever they can manipulate the data. Instead of that, except the accountant, others should not access or should not open the companies and see the data. So that is called as security for the data. It is also called security control. How to provide security control for the data in the companies, that is in the tally companies. So that's what we are going to learn. So here, first of all, from the beginning, that is from downloading and installing the tally file, we, we, we learned everything, creating the company, creating the required ledgers, getting the stock items, everything. So without inventory, how to make the entries, we learned first. That is all the four, first four, <clears throat> contra, payment, receipt, journal. These four approaches are same for any with, with the approach with the inventory or without inventory, it is same. But in the case of sales and purchases and returns, <clears throat> it is required. In, in, there is no goods, that is for services, there will be no goods. In the companies also, if the details of the goods is not known, then in such case, we have to enter in the purchase and sales also. We are in accounting invoice mode. We have to enter for services and for inventory also without details. So for with the inventory, with the details of the inventory, goods details, then we have to enter the purchase and sales and returns in item invoice mode. So this all we learn. So we know up to that. So we can make the entries. The next step is for all these services or goods for purchasing and selling services as well as goods, we have to charge GST also for every service or for every goods sold or purchased, services provided, services received, service sold or purchased, we have to charge the GST. So that's what we have to learn. So how to, the details about the GST and how to set up, how to configure the GST and how to <coughs> make the, in the entries, how to use the GST, how to enter the GST also, how to calculate the GST. How to enter the GST also? That's what we have to learn. Before that, one item that is so so far we have created. What is the security and how to provide security to the data? So here I will go. I will share this. So here, here for this there are many companies. So in these companies, a lot of data is entered. There is a lot of data in these companies. So when there is data in the companies, so except the accountant, others should not open and see the data and make any alteration or whatever the manipulation they can do. So to avoid that, we have to provide security that is also called data security or security control. So how to provide the security control? Yes. Providing the security control means creating the security control, creating or setting up the security, how to set up the security control or data security. How to set up data security we have to allow to create that we have to learn. So when you are providing the data security, this will be provided in two ways at two times. That is, when the company itself is created, then itself we can provide the security, we can set up the security. Or in the case of some already old companies, existing companies, also we can provide the security. That's what we have to learn. So the two types of security is first one is. So in these companies, first the company name is there, a company number is there, and the period means accounting year, which we are recording. So all these accounting years, company names, everything is there. So in this case, the first one is providing or setting up or creating tally vault password. Tally vault means 
the name of the company except the number name of the company will be encrypted it will show like a like stars so name will not be visible it will show it will be visible in the shape of stars only number will be visible and the account details is not visible it is not encrypted it is not visible and the name is encrypted it will show like stars then we provide the tally vault if you use in the tally vault we have to give only we have to set up password only so if you provide tally vault password then the company will be encrypted you cannot see the name of the company so we have to note down the name of the company number of the company the name of the company and the password which you provided because if you forget the password that's complete with the company data everything is lost you cannot break out that is why you must be very careful that is why many most of the people they will not use the tally vault password sometimes they will test out they will not use tally vault password but any other way the second type is <coughs> the second type is called control user access to company data that is controlling the user access or user access user access control that means the company names and all these things are that <coughs> it will be visible number will be visible company name also will be visible it is not encrypted it is visible but we have to create or provide or set up username and password so unless you give the username and password this company will not be open this is called control user access to company data or user access control for the data to username and password so today we are going to learn how to set up or provide the tally vault password and how to set up the user access control password and username and password okay so when we are making this so this can be provided in two in two ways that is at two times that is once when the company is created itself you can provide this they need two both you can create you can create only tally vault password only one or without that only user access control you can provide or you can provide both tally vault password as well as user access control both you can provide so if you provide both first it will ask you tally vault password and if we do the correct tally vault password then it will ask you the username and password that is user access control so here first of all if you will check up how to provide the security in the case of a new company see here create company i am creating x and o for example x and o x and o for example hyderabad state telangana and num the code in the pin code so five lakh rupees so everything here and we will come to this place that is bank books beginning from and after that in this space the security control or data security options data or password and user access control these options will be available here and also many options relating to the base and base currency for the country base currency will be available so they will be available but not for them so we have to to see them also what you have to do is here we have to go to f12 so company so provide contact details are already given so given yes it is there so all these contact details are there if you give them no if you give no then only up to here it will be available all these details will not be available okay so this is by default you take it and then this is the edit clause that is not required see here tally vault password that is use tally vault password to encrypt the company data if you make it yes you make it yes and accept it will ask you only in the case of the new company you have to you can set up this tally vault password here only only here you this is a new company so actually after this when the company is created we accept it directly it will go to it will go to company features have them features but here we are providing this tally vault password make it yes it will ask you the tally vault password so we will give accept code so we will do for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have given six numbers again it will ask you to come home 1 2 3 4 5 6 so yeah see here it is given 
if you forget your tally vault password you will permanently lose access to your company data so you will completely lose the access that means you must be very careful company number name and the password should be noted down because the name company name will be shown as stars that is encrypted the actor is actor is actor actor then what is ask you is when you make this so here first of all it will not go to company features it will ask you the tally vault password only and after do the correct password then only you will go so what is this given 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you do the correct one now it will go to the features the second one is not required now and this is required all this i mean inventory required and this we have not not learned now and this is never required okay actor now so the company is created and tally vault password also provided so now you see now we go to close the shut this section so the section go number 7 section go number 7 company so i have not done section na number 7 action go and the password given okay so so here so whenever you open this you open this it will ask you the tally vault password 1 2 3 4 5 Suppose if you use some wrong wrong password, it will not take. You have to do the correct password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then only it will open. Okay. So this is in the case of a new company. In the case of a new company. So in the case of a new company only. In the case of a new company only. After this, you have to do. So when you are creating, what it will do? It will show you here set. Value or to pass word? No. You make it yes. Then you will set up there. And after company is created, so all the companies after creation, this will become the old company. That is all our existing companies. So this is the right, password is provided at the time of creation. If there is an existing company here, see here, Sang Sangbi Enterprises. We are there doing the work. So this is number two. So if you go to this, see here. In this case, how to provide the yeah tally vault password? How to provide? How to provide? So in the case of existing, how to provide? So in this case, you have to go to the creation page. It is existing company. It is called as alteration page. So go to alt alt K company menu. Go to alter. This company will open. So here, so if, here if you go to this place and if you give it yes, you give it yes, yes. It will not show as before. There it is given. Use tally vault password. Use tally vault password. No, it is given. So I will just uncreate. But in the case of an existing company, we will show like this only. We cannot provide the tally vault password in this page. This is alteration page. In the creation page, we can provide. In this case, we cannot provide here. Then in the case of existing company, this how to do is we cannot provide here. What is you see to set or alter in both the cases tally vault password. Press Alt K. Go to this page. So this is that. Go to this Alt K company menu. So here at the down there is one tally vault. Select this and here you have to set up. So in this page you cannot set up. So it's given. Go to that page. This Alt K. Then select tally vault. Either setting up that is. To set down as well as to alter that, and also to delete that also, we have to go to this page only for creating. In the case of a new company, we can set up here. In all of the cases, we have to go to all K Tally Vault here. See here, the existing company name is shown. Here will be the password. For example, one one two two. Example. So I give one again. It lost you one one two two. So here it will show. Here it lost. It will show. If you, it is an existing company now. So in the case of a new company, there will be no data. So nothing is asked. In the case of an existing company, already some reports, vouchers, masters will be there. We are working. So that will not be saved. So do you want to set up the password? Yes, because everything is closed. And it will ask you. It will. We will create a copy of the company. So in the copy of the company, there will be no no password or anything. Directly it will open. So there is no use of creating that. That is why we say we don't want a copy duplicate. We don't want a copy. Yes, now it will ask you. So in the case of tally vault password, first it will ask you. Then 
What is the given? Double one, double two. So if they give that, it will work for them. Okay. So this is in the case of an existing company. So in the case of a new company, when when you come creating at the time of creating, after this, we have to go to F12, we have to select tally wall. Then it will be no. Make it yes and it, there itself give the password twice and accept. So that is set up. In the case of an existing company, in the creation page, there is no creation page, the alteration page. Creation page, we cannot enter and go to FK, Alt, Alt K, go to Cal. Sorry. So here, in this case, if you do this F2 to make it yes, so it will show you, you cannot make it here. So either alt, setup or alteration, go to this page and here go to alt this one. Here you have to provide the name will be there before that you the password twice. So it will be set up. So this is how to set up, how to set up the Cali Vault password in the case of a new company in the creation page itself. At the time of creation, in the case of existing company, in this page, if we select F12 and activate that, this Jali Vault password is activate and it will show you, go to this one, that is, go to Alt K and uh, set up. So go to Alt K, then go to Jali Vault, then you set up the, the same thing. How you set up here? The same thing you have to do there. So this is how to set up the Jali Vault password in the case of a new company. On the, in the case of an existing company, in the case of a new company, and in the case of existing company. Okay, so now two companies are then one is number seven is new company, <coughs> the excellent book. Number two is existing company, Sangri and Ramesses. Okay, now this is the first security. The second security is second security is. User access control, our control user access. How to set up that? That also, that can be set up. That can be set up in the creation page itself. Here only to say new company in the creation page. In the case of an existing company, in the alteration page. See here, if you take up this company, you open this here. This page, when you are creating, this is called company creation, creation page. Then you can set up the username, password for Kali, what you call the control user access. The password and the username, password, you can set up here in the case of a new company. In the case of existing company also, you can see here, go to this page. It is called as alteration page. Here itself, you can activate that. You can activate the your control user access and you can set up the username password also here. So new company or existing company, you can get, provide and create the username password here itself. So this is already created. Already if it is there, now if you create the control user access, first it will ask you the Cali Vault password, then it will ask you this one. Okay, like this it will be. Otherwise, without this, directly you can create only the control user access because there will be a problem later. Okay, so I will show you here. I will take up another. I will take up another company, existing company or new company, both are same. So, for example, we will take up Ramakrishna Electronics. So, in this case, so this is an existing company. For example, if it is a new company, so this page will come. Okay, this page will be there. This page will be there. And in this case, this is the creation page. If it is a new company, if it is an existing company, it is a company alteration. So for example, we don't have the, we don't have this vertical. We don't have in this company, we don't have the, what when actually, when you activate any company, when you activate this vertical, this in any company, if you activate the F12 configuration, it will be activated in all the company. So that is why here it is showing. Here it is showing. But we have not set up this. Okay. That is why we have not set up. That is why here, if you go to this, if you close this company and the RAM standard if you open, it is directly opening. We have not created. But in this case, you see, in any company like that. So 
make it for example in this case Exenco newly created company that is one two three four five six it is asking to first okay so this is low quality so forget that you have created tally vault password open the company company is open without tally at password means directly to your fund okay now in the case of a new company for example this is a new company company creation we will come here here we have to go to f12 and you use use user access control you make it yes okay it will tell you control user access to company data so company data you have to control the, the access by other users for the company data here you make it so here we can do see here here we can in the case of a new company we can do here only so make it yes and give the password so i will give uh, this is x and go we will do admin so this one we are giving small letters so when you are accessing when you are giving the username password when you are logging in into that then it is not facial you can do cap letters or small letters i'll do and here password what i will do is here 1 2 3 4 i am giving again 1 2 3 4 and here it is see parading your password will render your data inaccessible here also if you forget the password the data cannot be accessed okay and after this access so here the company is already open now it is not asking the password okay now we will go to we will open now when you open the company already we have given the see here this is the excel code first of all one two three four five six forget so this is given forget that directly will ask you company username password if there is no value or password so we are given that then it is asking this for example forget that it is given this is not given that is not set up no tally or password then directly it will ask you this so here admin see here i have given small letters isn't it now i am giving capital password is one two three four see here one two three four so now it's that so it is open so like this we can create so here what we did in the case of a new company treat that it is a new company treat that this is a new company that is why we have given here activated this tally i mean user access control and we have set up this so in the case of an existing company also see just now we actually this is an existing company in the case of existing company also go to the creation i mean creation page is the operation page go to the operation page here you can do this you can activate user access control and you can do in the case of a new company first time you will do here only in the case of existing company in this page itself you can do by going here and by going to alt f alt k and selecting alt f and you will come to the alt page here you will activate the user access control and you can give here so you can do here in the case of an existing company old company new company here only first time here in the case of an existing company here we can do or in another place say here for this company so here go to security here itself it will ask you it will ask you so here i will tell you So this is the company, existing company. In this case, so we are here activating this one. Okay, we are activating and doing this. Without this, what we can do is directly for this company, you can go to security, that is Alt K, company menu, go to security. You need itself. The same thing will be shown. Company and user access control, no is there. Make it yes. It will ask you the username, password one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then here, oh, sorry. one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, forget, forgetting your password will render. And then, if anywhere you are doing from Alt K, Alt K, you ask me email ID for browser access. So, don't take anything, just give none and accept this. Okay, so here itself, you can do. So, now Close this. Now close this. It is removed there. Actually, where it's come from this here. We are making the, I mean, giving the 
option control access username password in the f2 page they are alt k page okay in the alt k page they are given already carry out password in here one two three four sorry one two three four five six one two three four five six admin one two three four see here we have set up here we are not set up here we are not set up so if we set up here you show there also if you set up there it will show here also so if this place or that place anywhere you can do we can set up this user access control in the case of an existing company in the case of a new company we have first time we have to enter here only we have to set up okay existing company either this place or that place but tally world password in the case of new company here in the case of an existing company here in the tally world so this is how to provide and then there is another company one more company number two that is already existing company this is actually we feel that this is a new company excel go this is an existing company so for the double one double two is the password given tally world password given and here go to alter here see they are activated in one company which is activated all the companies this already it is done that is in the at the time of creation now we cannot do this here and this we can do this is an existing company here you can do or inside also here we can do here if you make a yes and here for example if you do tally tally and one two three we are giving one two three we are giving and if you forget you lose access okay when you are doing from here it will ask you email id for browser access you take none if you are doing here you do not ask it okay so right now we close this company sangme enterprises see here this is sangme enterprises so here one two three but double one double two and here tally so if we do small letters also no tally and here one two three is the password so one two three is open like this user access that is first one is the first one is tally vault password the second will is control user access to the company data you can create both or one if you create only tally vault password it will ask you if you create both first it will ask you tally password tally vault password then username and password if you create only username password tally mean control user access directly it will ask you the username and password only so you can create both or any one only so accordingly it will ask you if there are both first it will ask you user and control sorry it will ask you the tally vault password then it will ask you the username password that is user access control so with this i am closing this and i don't think i have told or told you so in this case please everyone without just watching the video and going out everyone please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you will get notification for all the videos which i upload in my channel and please and share my channel with others also and most important thing every video you watch till the end then only you will understand the total topic otherwise if you skip in the middle the balance part you cannot understand and after watching fully please like the video if you like the youtube people will recommend this channel video to many people so that many people will learn this topic this subject okay and also i am taking up online classes also only paid online classes no offline paid online classes if you are interested you can contact me my number is given in the thumbnail and you can join so this i am closing this and we will continue tomorrow in the next one next video is how to make alteration in this as well as how to want to remove so alteration that is also called modify and also remove or delete so now setting up and tomorrow in the next video how to remove that will be okay